I hope people leave this moment with more curiosity, more like fire under their bellies towards maybe Iranian advocacy and kind of paying attention to what's happening in Iran right now. Hello, my name is Zahra Hushyar. This is my first solo show curated by the amazing Giselle Munoz, who is a artist and resident here at WALL. The title of the show is Will I Be Lost in Translation? It's kind of a really amazingly timely response to what is going on right now in Iran. This is a juice box. This is a big giant juice box I made. Um, and it's, I mean, I guess its name is Trader's Juice because the Iranian regime is so uh, toxic and manipulative. Right here, I wrote like Zahramar rather than Sunday's Juice and Zahramar translates to snake oil. And because I believe snake oil is what they're feeding these illegitimate supporters of this illegitimate regime. Um, and then on this side, I have a nutrition label, which I kind of tweak to no longer just be nutrition, but actually facts about the real-time deaths that are happening um, at the hands of the regime. And of course, this number is increasingly going up every single day because this regime has no shame. It's kind of a satirical rift. This is a government that's so corrupt that it's using literal juice against people. And if you go to Iran, a lot of times, like, um, people who support the regime are called Sunday's whore, which means Sunday's drinker, which is like essentially someone who supports the regime, which is crap, you know? So these flags are a piece that I made. I wove together parts of my mother's hijab within an American, these are American flags. At the time when I made it, spoke about how it feels to exist in America as a hyphenated individual, as someone who's kind of in the in both worlds, this integration of both my cultures, uh, but then also the kind of like hardcore stereotypical box that we're often put as not just Iranians, but Middle Easterners in general. And so uh, three pieces are segments of a poem that reads out Azman Chimichai, which means what do you want from me? And this one translates to you want me to uh, sing but not speak, speaking upon how there's always a expected way that most people are, most, you know, people of color are kind of expected to exist in that I don't think white artists or white people are necessarily also put into that space. And then the last one says, you'd like me to dance but not stand. And so kind of this predicament of, are we simply here for entertainment purposes? Like how we're taken as these stereotypical, almost caricatures of what our true culture is. But then as soon as we step out of like Jasmine and Aladdin or the the Sultan's harem and all of these like expected ideas of what Middle Eastern women specifically are supposed to exist in, um, and start speaking for ourselves, speaking for our rights. It seems as though like the world goes silent and no one wants to hear that part of us. So that's what this piece is for. And this was made um, before the revolution of Iran started. And now post-revolution, I think this piece is a lot more poignant to me. This entire exhibit is kind of a culmination of my work that I've made over the past couple of years. I recently graduated from UC Davis with a bachelor's in art and Persian studies. My work kind of flows between uh, worlds of like super seriousness and then really satirical humor pieces, which I kind of love that I'm able to kind of ebb and flow through that. And it's not just like one-way boat on like one-way stream, you know, and so it's kind of like guiding me through this turbulent river, but at the same time I'm coming together and it like creates this cohesive body of work that I hope really impacts people tonight and seeing people seeing it is impacting me on like a level that I was not anticipating. I think it's been a very profound experience uh, since, you know, getting to meet her and get to know her and through this this whole opportunity and experience with curating um, I feel that um, I've just been moved and I'm grateful to be able to have an opportunity to bring art to the Wall Public Market Gallery and bring community together. And I think everyone's really sitting with your work and talking about it and reading the words that you've thoughtfully written that provides so much of the story and the context and your process. I'm absolutely like beyond thankful again I feel like I'm gonna like go home and everything's gonna hit me and I'm probably gonna be like plastered to my bed for like 24 hours and be like Bleh, like that really happened you know but it's been amazing beyond amazing